This is yeah. season 11. Auditions, go to agtauditions.com. Come to the convention center in LA. Go to Orlando. Figure it out. I want to see you. I will change your life. I'm, I've, I've got such power now, as listen, a judge. I know all the, when you go and you promote the show at the TCAs in front of the critics and stuff, many years you would sit there with Donald Trump, who was the host of The Celebrity Apprentice, and yeah. now he's running for president. Can you imagine if he became president? If he replaces Obama in the White House, that's going to bring a whole new meaning to Orange is the New Black. <laughs> That's an inspired joke. Is it? That's a really good joke. Okay. Did you just think of that? No, you have. You've used that in your routine. I'm you reading have. it off of her card. Oh, no, okay. no, there's no Where card. is she? Her. No, there's what no do you card. think about Trump's run, though? I mean, this is getting serious. Well, he just, uh, I don't know. It's amazing, though. It makes people who aren't politically interested, interested, which is good, right? I find it fascinating. I find it funny. I find it, you know, what we used to think of as a presidential kind of you know, here's what I want to say. As a comedian, if I said a quarter, even a tidbit of what he said, I would lose my career. Yes. I would lose you're a comedian. everything. You're a comedian. But, and I'm a comedian. So I know, I've had friends who've lost campaigns and lost with saying less. But if he says it, he Somehow. could run the biggest power in the world. Although, does anyone else feel maybe that the media, who has largely been, and I'm talking cable news across the board because they don't have equal time laws, they've been fair-weathered fans, I mean, they're fans. Now are they fair-weathered fans because I feel a turning on the Donald. Since like, Iowa. all of a sudden, he finished second in Iowa. Which, by the way, second. Only three second points behind second. Cruz, and I feel the turning. And now there's an event he had at an Arkansas State Fair where he said it was a record crowd, and now reporting there was only half the people were there. I see the stories getting a little bit uh, negative and people turning. I think the... Well, honeymoon the press, period is the over, press. and it lasted a long time. But we keep saying that, and I just think you don't underestimate him. I'm, I'm not underestimating. Are you telling me, no, or are you telling them? No, that was a them? statement. I, that, telling, was to, that was yeah. to your lady. Don't nice underestimate. Girl. He's now being, he's getting upset, saying the media is treating him unfairly. This is the man who can call in. Now his campaign director can call in to any show, anytime, and go straight to the airwaves. Do we have him on the, the phone right now? Trump? <laughs> no. Now he's here. And if we did, we would put him right on. <laughs> We would. We would probably put him Maybe on. that's the big star Simon speaks of. Maybe Trump <laughs> will end up on well, AGT. NBC will do every. I mean, don't you think you'd want him back now? I mean, he's very. I mean, he's, after I'd all he's love done. to sit with him. I've worked with him. Yeah. I, on Deal or No Deal, he was the banker on an episode.